Good day, good day. I pray and hope all of my viewing audience or anyone that will be viewing this audience, this video at any point in time will find great value in my very, very short video today. Guys, I am excited to <clears throat> bring to you today um, some tips that I have used in the past to basically help me build my self-confidence inside of my online marketing business. You know, we have a lot of newbies that enter into this industry daily and the first sight of not making a dollar, they, they start to lose confidence, they start to lose momentum, um, they, they become frustrated, overwhelmed, and I'm sure about 95 to 100% of marketers out there at some point in time in their lives or during their road in this industry would have had uh, to go down this road somewhat, okay? And so that most of you won't find yourselves in a situation as bad as I found myself back in my beginning days into the online marketing industry. What I'm going to provide for you today is I'm going to give you, and this is also my topic um, for today, okay? I'm going to provide for you, I'm going to give you four simple basic tips that I used or I implemented in my life to build my self-confidence or to help build my self-confidence, okay? And just before we start, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to my viewers out there, I am not one to make anything shiny. I am not perfect. Uh, I am just a simple, regular guy, just like anyone else out there in the industry, okay? So I am not going to give you tips or advice on something or, or or give you tools that I do not use within my personal business or life at, at, in general, okay? And so I just want to declare the air on that. And so today, my topic is four tips on how to build <coughs> your self-confidence, okay? And my very first tip that I gave to my partners, uh, my students, <clears throat> and anyone that comes to me on on advice in reference to building or in reference to uh, building self confidence, the very first thing that I would would tell them, and this is actually my first step, it is you must be an uh, an avid reader. Okay, if you are in the 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 online marketing industry. You, you, you want to read books that are relative to, okay? And so anything that deals with um, confidence building, um, lead generation, um, the handling of money, um, Bitcoin, uh, cryptocurrency, whatever niche you may be in, you need to read books that are relative to the online affiliate direct marketing uh, industry and what i simply mean by that is when you read uh, these sorts of books or these sorts of literature it you 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 begin to see and read that the authors of these books also experienced challenges along their journeys uh, to success okay so if you when you when you when when that happens you then realize well these guys aren't aren't as inhuman or not some kind of uh Houdini Houdinis or some magic magicians that they with a clip of a finger they became rich or financially free just by doing this. No, it didn't happen that way. They went through so, so rough times and challenges and road bumps just like you and I are 
will continue and they too as well will continue go to go through through the rest of their lives and so you begin to realize that having challenges is all part of your growth and also it's it comes along with the territory and so you begin to build rapport with the industry and your your challenges and so you expect challenges you learn from them and you grow from them and this is the main reason why I, I, I suggest to people grab a few books whatever it may be on and learn from the readers sorry learn from the authors that produce and put these books out there they are out there for for a reason to give you value and to cut down the the the, the the amount of mistakes so to say or so to speak on 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 your part okay and so you learn from their mistakes and you improve and so my first point is you would need to be an avid reader okay and moving on to my second point my second point is focus on accomplishing small goals okay guys and by accomplishing um, small goals okay it it helps you to build um, to build momentum um, you become energized you become excited okay and this is something that you need to do daily not just today skip three days do it on the weekend or do it once a month no Accomplish, accomplishing successfully accomplishing small goals will help you to build momentum it will build your self-esteem and more importantly it will help you to build your self-confidence okay the better yourself or the higher your self-confidence is you are able to attack larger goals and once you your self-confidence is at a certain level larger goals won't be as large as if as when you didn't have anything accomplished at all, at all. and so accomplishing small goals will help greatly in your success within your industry in accomplishing the larger goals and so it is very important to remain focused on successfully accomplishing small goals daily okay and my third point my third point is well a lot of you that viewing this may call it crazy but hey like I said in the beginning I'm giving you tips that worked for me and I saw it fit to pass it on to you guys and it is having conversations with yourself okay and what I mean by having conversations with yourself you can talk to your inner self in silence um, I do it all the time for example I I, I say to myself um, I can do this I will do this I must do this okay and having these these repeat I repeat them to myself daily um, in silence you know it, 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 it helps me to start my day off with high expectations and I'm able to move with a little more grace I'm able to move with a little more energy move with a little more enthusiasm and so by this happening it then tran it transitioned into me building up my my, my self-confidence and not just building my self-confidence building building it up to a level where it is on f total fire and I'm able to just go and do what is necessary to make it happen within my business and so like I said again I am giving you my four basic tips that I use to help build my <clears throat> self-confidence and lastly but not least my very last point is share your small successes with like-minded individuals okay and I will repeat that again share your small success with like-minded people okay and the reason for that is at the end of the day we all are human beings 
and everybody wants to feel accomplished everybody wants to feel appreciated and so it is vital for you to share small successes with like-minded persons who will understand or who would understand what you would have accomplished because to me it doesn't make sense sharing your small well success for on any level for that matter for for some to with someone that doesn't really understand what you would have just accomplished and so it is very important to share your six stories it's number one also to share your success stories with like-minded individuals okay and so ladies and gentlemen those are my four basic tips in building your self-confidence my name is robert barry i want you to stay tuned for more videos that will be coming very shortly and also to get more information and to join me it actually i'm going to invite persons that is viewing this video if you are a struggling marketer out there in whatever niche that you may be a part of i am going to leave a special link for you at the bottom of this video okay if you have problems with lead generation turning those leads into into repeated responsive buyers if you are struggling to make money across the board in any niche there is and you've not had any training or even if you've had training and you were not successful i invite you to click on the link and it will take you to a site that i use personally that educated me on the whole entire spectrum of the online marketing industry and so i will leave that link i am about to get out of here to enjoy the rest of my day you guys be safe be blessed i'm signing out robert barry you guys be good until next time be safe